Okay, let me tell. I I can do makeup. You can do makeup. Okay, like. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Genesis. Thanks for clicking on this video. And as you guys seen by the title today, I am going to be giving you guys a dark skin, beginner friendly makeup tutorial. Okay. So like when I say like beginner. I mean beginner because like I'm still a beginner. I do not know how to do all that extra stuff. I do really the basics and it took me a while to even learn the basics. But I think now I'm at a point where I can say, okay, I can do a little something, something like my makeup look good. And so I was like, I want to do a makeup tutorial because it's important, especially for like dark skinned women to see like different ways to do makeup because to this day, I still search up I still search up dark skin friendly makeup tutorials and the only people that it's the same people that always pop up and not everyone is my skin color, you know? Like some people be like they like some people say they're dark skin but they kinda be brown skin or they just not my skin color. So to all my dark skin, you know, very dark skin girls out there, shout out to y'all, okay? Cause we lit anyway so that's what i wanted to do today so let's go ahead and get right into this video you guys um the products are super easy super cheap everything i got is from target you know drugstore okay yeah i haven't i haven't gotten to the high end yet you know i just want to make sure i knew what i was doing with this before i get to all of that you feel me? you feel me? it's like, like yeah so yeah let's go ahead and get right into this video guys and y'all Okay, y'all, so the first thing I want to do is um, prime. I, I just bought this primer today from Target. Usually, I just put lotion on my face, but for the sake of this video, I want it to be a little bit bougie. I use a primer. And my face is already clean. I just got out the shower. And, you know, make sure your face clean. Don't, don't put dirty makeup on top of dirty makeup. What? So I'm prime my face. And this is the primer I'm using right here. Image control. Oh, it's like mint. First thing I'm gonna do is for my foundation, I'm going to be using this BB cream sunscreen. Now, the only reason why I'm using this is because usually I use this e.l.f. foundation right here. But as you guys can see, it's kind of literally all gone and i did not know that but i'm just gonna try to like mix it in together that way as much as i can that way i can still have some coverage both are kind of the same and they both do well so but this is definitely my go-to though when it comes to foundation but this works wonders too especially on like a light day so this is what i'm gonna be using and i'm just gonna be using this beauty blender brush and i'm just gonna spray some um makeup mist spray on it I don't know why, I just like doing it like that. And I mix it, and I just start applying that to my face. And I work in sections. I don't, I used to do it all over my face, but I just work in sections, y'all. You see him tighter than a virgin like Madonna say I love when you give it and I love when you don't huh? Hit me with the threesome and sometimes you won't huh? You tell me don't with no bitch you know nah. You got it, yeah you got it baby Bust it on the floor I keep it juicy, dude I eat that lunch She keep that booty booty She keep that pump Man, that's some beauty beauty Yeah, yeah I always, always make sure I get my neck My skin is kind of two-tone on my neck Y'all heard that? <laughs> my skin is so two-toned, so I have to make sure, like, I am definitely getting my neck. And then, so after that, um, as you guys can see, if I still, like, have some, I still, like, have, like, a line across my nose, and I have, like, some dark spots around here. After that, I usually take my e.l.f. concealer. Most of these products are e.l.f., because I, I just love e.l.f. And they cheap too. And so after that, I usually go back in with this concealer. And I sometimes, y'all, I love this concealer so much that sometimes I would just wear this and wear some pressed powder and I just walk out because it just it has so much coverage and it blends with my skin so well. That's all I need sometimes, but 
I just go back like a dab across my nose, like get here, here, here. And just, just to cover up all them spots that I just didn't get. And I go right back in, beauty blender, and split it all in. This concealer just gives you a glow, man. Like on my skin, it really just has my skin glowing, bro. I am done with that. I then go in with my highlighter, okay? Y'all see this? I know y'all like, girl, that's a little too light for you. I don't know what you're about to do. I don't know how that's going to work. But look, I saw this video right here with this girl. And as you guys can see, she used a very light concealer. And so I tried it one day and I blended it. And it actually made my makeup. It, it just made a very good difference in my makeup. And... I was like, oh my God, I never thought about trying that. When I used to try to do it, it did not come out right at all. I was like, no girl, this is not gonna work for you. But I tried it again and I blended it out right. And y'all, I just been doing it ever since. But to mix these two together, just create a, a good highlight for me versus it just being very light, which I don't mind. But today I want to just try something different. So I just mix these two. And I go in with my e.l.f. brush. Like I said, everything is literally from e.l.f. And it's an eyeliner brush, but today it's going to be my highlighter brush. And I go in with the setting spray again. Make sure it's blend in together like a freaking painter. And I just go in there and do it. Put the highlight on. And I... I try to be like very, very careful when I do this part because I'm still learning when it comes to doing highlighter and stuff. And so I'm learning like, you can't really go too crazy because you gotta blend all that stuff out. So just do enough. And I put it in my corner and I try not to go past my nose. See that? See how I got like in a corner? Try to make sure it's even on both sides and now you guessed it blend it <laughs> i just go in and i just blend it y'all I sometimes like make a mistake like if I go a little bit too over just go back in with your beauty blender and just kind of like fix it up a little bit so I get done blending out the highlighter the next thing I do is go in with my my contour brush and I got this from what's that brand name it's color perfect foundation stick and it's from I put it right here it's a it's a black owned brand and I was just looking for a good contour um stick because i'm still learning contour and i found this and so far it's been helping me out and i've been using it so i'm gonna show you guys how i do it like i said i am still learning when it comes to contour but it's just what i do so first i put my face into fish mode like that <laughs> i put my face into like fish mode and i just contour like right here Basically where my cheekbones follow. I go a little bit on my forehead, contour this part, and my nose a little bit. That's what I do. So I'm finna show y'all. So right there. Right there. There. I just go a little bit on my forehead, not too much. Cause I still gotta like put gel right there for the most part, so. And, and I just blend it out, you guys. Be like so. Eat that up in the light. He see that in the dark. 
walking in the right. Me keep that, keep it running like it pop. He need that, need to rub the nigga. Blending everything in, and so don't be afraid to like just blend. That was like my problem, and I'm still learning. Make sure you blend because there have been times where I thought, um, I'm blending everything out, and you're going to the sun, and boom, yeah, your girl. You blend. So after the after I apply the concealer, I just go in and I use my um press powder. And this is LA Girl Warm Caramel Press Powder. And I just literally go over the highlight part. I almost abandoned that, but I kind of forgot. And I just go over exactly what I highlighted. Just kind of like press it in a little bit. Do the same thing for the other side. Look at the highlight. So while that's sitting, I now go ahead and do the eyebrows and the eyes. Ugh. All right, so first I just brush these bad boys up, okay? These freaking wild dragons. And I go in with the simple. <clears throat> Um, as you can see, it's so dirty, y'all. I don't re remember where I got this from or their name, but I'm pretty sure it's from a hair store. And all I do is just go in and just line it up, just very lightly though, because you don't want to you don't want to go too hard, and then you mess up. I just go very, very light. And sometimes y'all, I don't, I can't even see for real. I do the same thing with the other side. If you're like probably confused about your eyebrow shape, something I suggest is, go, is going to get your eyebrows like threaded because that really helps me um, when I was on my eyebrows, even though I was on eyebrows before, but getting them threaded actually helped me see, by somebody who's good, actually helped me see, okay, like, this is how my eyebrow shape is, and I can just follow along, you know? Like, it really helps. Just, just a little too. I'm just gonna use go back in with this elf um brow pencil it's in the color dark brown and i'm just gonna like line up everything i kind of missed because i don't like using black to do this reason being is when you use black it kind of messes it up a little bit from what i learned so i just kind of like go in and clean up everything that i missed when i was doing it The black be too strong, so the the, black, the dark brown kind of just gives me the shape I've been wanting. And so after that, I go back in with a the same highlighter we used before, and I go in and I, I put that underneath my brow, y'all, and I put it right underneath the brow. <laughs> Trying to squeeze into my true religion, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't buy it with a cellulite. Mm -hmm. He said the body, unbelievable. Can't trust that big, but then I'm coming on. I, 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 I.
So this is my little trick this is what i do so one day y'all i accidentally had bought um a brown mascara from a hair store when i thought it was black and i didn't want to waste my money so i was like you know what i need to use this still so i end up using it on my brows and basically what i do it i basically use it as a um eyebrow setter to be honest like just to put it in place because once it dry you know, it keeps my eyebrow in place because that's what, you know, you do with mascara. So, I just go in with this. I literally got this from the hair store. $3.99. The price is still on there. And I dust as much as possible off, though. Because I don't want to, like, get too much product on there. And I just go in. And kind of, like, just seal it in place. Like that. Do the other side the same way. And it's a good eyebrow setter. Cause y'all. So now I'm gonna like clean all of this up. Cause I obviously can't leave it there. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer just to clean it up. Boom, y'all. That is done. So after that, I just go ahead. And I go in with my e.l.f. mascara. I told y'all, everything I use is e.l.f. <laughs> oh, I lied, y'all. I know I was missing something. The next thing I do is I go in with my eyeliner. Now, eyeliner is very, very tricky. And I got this freaking wing one because my other one broke. So, what I do, you guys, is I be very, very careful. I start with one line, boom. Another line, boom. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, you don't want to put too much on and then, like, it gets everywhere. Now you got to start back over. And then you want to poke your eye out, too. So, like, you really just got to be careful. So, I'm going to show y'all. I just grab it and I just get... I mean, I get to the mirror. And I just go... Ooh. Bang. And do it. Now, every time I get ready to go on this side, I'll be a little blind. And boom. They, they look kind of different. All right, y'all. So, boom, I got the eyeliner on. And now, I wanted to try to wait, do eyelashes, but I don't think I am, y'all. Eyelashes, doing lashes is so hard. Anyway, I go in with the e.l.f. mascara. And y'all, I love this mascara though. I literally just took off my lashes, y'all, that I had got done. It was my first time getting lashes. And I literally think, I was like literally snatching them off. I was just ready to get them off of me. And I honestly think I, a lot of them came off. Like my real lashes came off, y'all. Cause I I wasn't this bald with no lashes. And so boom. All right, y'all. And lastly, what we do for the final touches, I go in with my a black lip pencil. Oh, and I just lined up, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just lined it up. It doesn't really have to be perfect, but, you know. Okay. 
And then I go in with my NYX Butter Gloss. This is the Fudge Me. And I go in with that. Put it on top. So yeah, I went back in and added that highlighter back and in just into my corners. And I don't know why, but I just love doing that. Like I just feel like it makes my makeup pop for some reason. Like, and I wasn't going to, but I just couldn't help myself. But you really don't have to. I just love doing that to me. I make my makeup pop a little bit more. So like I said, just make sure you blend it though. But I just had to add it. I just had to add it. Go right back in with the sand powder. You want to talk to me, don't put no dish, you know. Now you got it, yeah, you got it, baby. Bust it on the floor. I keep it juicy, I eat that lunch. I keep that booty booty. I keep that pump. That looks beauty, beauty. And boom, now we're done, y'all. Okay, now look at it, get into the look, get into it. And y'all, like you, like I said, y'all, that was super easy. Okay, let me tell y'all, I, I can do makeup, you can do makeup, okay? That right. was just very simple, five easy steps that anybody can do. And lastly, for the final touch, I'm just gonna spray all this all over my face. And I'm gonna come back, you guys, and show y'all like a whole complete look without the bonnet on my head to show you guys the finishing look. So, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so this is the final look. Okay, I got me all the hair out. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, um, this is very easy. Your grandma could dig this look. I promise. It was a few easy steps, and I hope you know for us dark skin girls, y'all really enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Okay, we was on a road to 500 subscribers. And that is my goal for this year. So you all got videos coming soon. And we got other content coming soon. So y'all will not be disappointed once y'all subscribe, okay? But without further ado, you guys, I'm going to go ahead in this video. Like I said, make sure y'all subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, okay?